Art students, Brian Proctor back again with another video, another lesson actually. And this one is an important lesson because it's about making comic books. And if you guys are out there and you want to take, want to take, you want to make a comic book of your own, this video is what it cost me to make a comic book. Now, we're going to talk about the price that you have to pay to make a comic book. So, yeah. Now, for all of you people that just went like, oh, this is prop money, okay? All this, all of this up in here, this is prop money, all right? If this was real, I would probably be in Hawaii right now, so no need to try to find out where I live to try to come and rob a brother because this is just prop money. So, we're going to talk about what it takes or what it costs you to make a comic book. Now, <sighs> Okay, let's say you've seen all the Marvel movies and you've seen the, the DC cartoons and all that and you said, hey, I have this idea for this great character. I've had it in my head so long and I want to do it. Problem is, you have no idea what you're doing. You wrote the story as best you can and you created the character as best you can, but you don't know how to draw. You don't know how to ink. You don't know how to color. You don't know any of that. All you have is a blurred idea or a blurred character that you rough sketched out and a story that goes with the character. So you have to find all these people to help you to put your book together. So let's talk about the price that you have to pay to make a book. So let's go to the drawing table and get started with this lesson. All right, so what we have here is your character and this is Duck Bill Platypus Man. Now, you had this idea for so long and you said, it's time to get this thing out, but I cannot draw. And I'm going to ink Duck Bill Platypus Man just so that you won't be bored seeing me wave my hands around. So you cannot draw. So this is the best that you can do. So what you're going to need are a couple things. You're going to need, one, somebody to design your character the way that you want your character designed. After that, you're going to need a penciler to do your pencils, your panels. Uh, after that, you're gonna need an inker to do, of course, your inks, what I'm doing right now. Then from there, you're gonna need a color. It's provided that you wanna color your book, but color books sell better than black and white books. You can do a black and white book, but color books sell better than black and white books. After you get it colored, you're gonna need a letterist or a letterer to do your dialogue, your letters, your sound effects, blah, blah and infinitum. Then after that, you're gonna need somebody to do your cover, and that's a whole, whole nother story. So, and uh, before I get into that, you're gonna need somebody to do your logo, unless you're just gonna do some handwritten, uh, boring, out of the way logo, you're gonna need somebody to design your logo. So these are the people that you're gonna to have to end up dealing with. And more than likely, you might not find somebody to do everything or one person to do everything. So you're going to have to pay all these people separately. If you can find a one person that does everything, then, uh, you know, congratulations. You just hit the jackpot. But let's just say you cannot. So you find these people to do this. And as I say, it's going to have to come out of your pocket to pay these people to do that. And I don't know why I'm having trouble talking and drawing, one, two, three, four, five, talking and drawing at the same time. So let's talk about our, uh, our character design. Well, let's talk about skill levels, first of all. And what I mean skill levels is the people that you look for to do your book. Now you have to say to yourself, do I really care what this looks like? Uh, do I wanna just throw some, some amateur looking drawing out there? Or do I want this thing to be nice, noticeable? people to turn their head and say, oh, that is nice, that is nice. Right off the bat, you've got a, um, a different character with the duckbill platypus man. So that's the thing that people look for, different, different things, different fresh and new ideas. So right off the bat, you've got that covered. Now, you can throw a trashy looking book out or you can throw a wonderful looking book out. And now I'm assuming that you want a wonderful looking book. So you have to pay for wonderful looking stuff. So your character design, you need somebody to take your duckbill platypus man and draw him to where he's exciting, he's fresh, he looks cool and hard. So a character designer, along with background design, because duckbill platypus has his 
duckbill platypus car, and he has his duckbill platypus gadget gun and his duckbill platypus belt of snazzy gadgets. So, a good character designer. Oh, did I say about the levels? Okay, let's go back to skill levels. Skill levels. And this is this is me now. I haven't been all over the world checking on people and so forth and so on, but this is what I have seen for my limited use of time and in going out into the world that I've been into. Uh, you have your your first uh, timers. These are the people that that want to draw a book. They want to get the experience. They want to draw a book. These guys are going to charge you maybe the, the cheapest, maybe like thirty five dollars. Um, uh, per for uh character design you know so you have your first timers that want to get experience to do books you have your independent artists that have already done books but have not really got to the mainstream they couldn't get to marvel and or dc or anything like that so they just put their own book out they got the experience they've done it they put their own book out but as i said it hasn't hit mainstream maybe because they're not as good as some of these top artists then you have your ex pros. These are the people that have done books for like Marvel and DC and got their name sort of out there because they've done like the X Men or Spider Man or something like that. But they're out of a job right now, maybe because the book that they were doing didn't sell. Or well, let's let's rewind it. Not so much X Men. Let's just say something like uh, Booster Gold or. Um, one of the B heroes that they tried to start the book and it did good for a few issues and it just didn't sell as much. So they stopped it and they let the artists go. So these are people that are out of jobs, but they have the experience. Now they're going to charge you just a little bit more because as I say, these guys are, are, are professionals or let's just say past tense were professionals because they did the job, but they have the skills. Then you have the pros that are still out there doing the big books like Jim Lee or Chris Claremont or um, what's the other guy, um, McFarlane, Todd McFarlane. These guys are gonna charge you super money. So if you're just the average person, you can forget even hiring them or knowing how to contact them unless you're their cousin or something like that. So you wanna do like the middle range, more like the independent artist that's um, done the books out there that has the skills, but it's not gonna charge you an arm and leg. So for character design, character design and somebody that's going to do background objects, you may be looking at probably around starting just to do a character. Now, this is going to be like a one-time thing for people. So when people do one-time uh, drawings, one-off drawings, they want to charge you as much as they can because it's a waste of their time to do like $5 or something like that, which is uh, brings a story that one guy, he contacted me and he wanted me to do a book. And I said, I couldn't do it right now um, because I'm working on too much stuff. So he asked me, do I know somebody? And I said, yeah. So he said, oh, I'm prepared to pay $5 per page. And I had to tell him, I said, dude, nobody's going to touch your book. $5 a page because, number one, you're dealing with their time. Number two, they have to provide the paper. They have to provide the ink. They have to provide all of this. For $5, it's not going to work. So he kind of upped the price, and I hooked him up with somebody that could, could do the book for him. But as I said, if it's going to be a one-time thing, they're going to try to charge you. So I would say a character designer would probably charge you from $35 to maybe up to $100 just for one character because these guys want to charge big for their time because they're not going to come back and have to do it again. So that's, that's one thing, and I'll add all this stuff up in, you know, in the end and it's going to be low the low end figure so after you get your character design and you get you get a design and you get it the way that you like it now you're going to have to have a penciler and i'm just saying you have your story already you have your story you know uh what you want you've even done the breakdowns and the breakdowns are what image goes in what panel so you have all your panels for page one, page two, page three. You have that already written down so that you can give the artist so he won't have to second guess. Because if you don't have that written down and the artist has to second guess what it is, or if you say, well, I'm, I'm not sure, but this I do want this kind of thing and that kind of thing, and you leave it up to the artist, well, that's more money that that artist, that penciler, is going to charge you. So from the low end of a penciler, let's just say you have all the breakdowns ready. You have your story, you gave him your story, you gave him the breakdowns, he's at panel to panel, the dialogue, everything. 
So all he has to do is draw. He has to look at your uh, directions and draw. You're probably looking at low end of $25 and probably up to $90 per page. Now, this is per page. Now, the low end, as I say, would probably be, um, it could probably be your first timers because the first timers want to make money. They really want to get their name out to say, hey, I did a book. I don't care what kind of book it is. I just did a book. So then they become semi-professionals because they did a book. So they're not going to charge you much because they want the work, but you won't get the best looking drawings out there. So as I said, you have to go a little higher, maybe $60, $70, $80. You know, as I say, the more money you get, the more money you pay, the better it will be because you would say, okay, send me some of your work. Send me something, you know, that you've done. Or you could say, here's my character. Draw me a quick sketch of it. A lot of people, if you're serious or they know you're serious about giving them the work, they'll do something like that for free. They'll do just a quick sketch or a pose or something. And uh, that will tell you, you know, their skill level. So between 25 and 90. Next, you have your inker who's going to come back and ink the thing and add your shadows. If they're any good, your shadows and your... Um, uh, I forgot what these lines are, like your cross hatching and your so forth and so on. That will probably be another 35 to about $90 for an inker because most of the work is done with the penciler. If you have a good penciler and everything's tight and he showed, you know, where the shadows are going to be and he did like the cross hatching or the hatches for the, for the stomach muscles or the whatever, then it makes it a lot easier for the inker to just come in there and they just fill it up with the black. So inkers, as I say, probably 35 for the low end, 90 for the high end per page. You're thinking per page now. And you also have to say to yourself in your story, if you have it laid out, this is going to be 12 pages, 18 pages. So you have to calculate all this times your page number. So colorist, colorist again, 35 to 80. Now, colors can make or break your uh, picture or your book because it's just it's color. Some people can do a one color thing or two color thing, and then you know it's average. But some uh, good colors throw multiple colors in there with shadows and lights and reflections and so forth, and then you got a, a great coloring book. So again, colors is what 25 to. No, I'm sorry, colors is. Thirty-five to eighty dollars. I think I, I did say thirty-five to eighty dollars. I'm getting mixed up with these colors, these colors, these uh, numbers. So then, after that, you get the color. Then you have to send it to the letterer, the letterer, letterist, person that puts your dialogue down. Does your word balloons could charge you twenty-five to. 35 maybe $40 depends because letters you're just typing so it's not that it's not that difficult a thing as long as they can spell and they know the punctuations and so forth and so on then you're pretty good and you give them or the artist gives them enough room in the panel to do his word balloons now cover cover again a cover a one-time thing a cover this is where you could lose a lot of money or you have to spend a lot of money because a cover design could be from 50 to 150 because your cover is the most important thing about your book. Your cover is what attracts people or deters people from buying your book. The cover has to look good. Duck bill, plat duck bill platypus, D DBP. So yeah, that's just some snazzy logo I came up with anyway yeah so cover is that that that's like I said that's a whole new thing there are people out there that just do covers that just just that's all they do is covers they don't know how to do uh, panel to panel stuff they just concentrate on covers these guys will charge you but if they're good it's worth it because you could have um, somebody do the interior work art and a whole new cover person the cover attracts them the cover will sell but when they look at it inside, they could say, oh, man, this is this was a waste of my money. But the cover's tight. Now, I have often bought books for covers, and the inside art was really not that good. But the cover was just a seller. So, yeah, be prepared to pay a color, a cover designer good money. So, now, again, 
Next step is your logo. What kind of logo are you going to have? What kind of logo like this? This design here, DBP, DBP, yeah. Um, you'd have to have a good designer to do that, logo design. And these guys are like usually your graphic designers, and graphic designers are not cheap. These guys will probably start out at like 150 or more just to do a good snazzy logo unless you choose just some letters in the font section and try to use that but I mean if you want your book to stand out then you're gonna to have to get some good good um, lettering I was gonna do something I don't have no idea what I was gonna do uh, DBP and then you can have the words down here and M Duck Bill Platypus Man, you know, it could have a slant or whatever, depending on, you know, something that, that's like the, the duck itself. You can have the, the little duck bill on every top of every letter. And yes, I am a designer, people. Yes, I do design things as well. So, yeah, you want something that's kind of sweet there. That is kind of sweet. Yeah, so you want a good logo design. And as I said, about 150 and up. Now, thinking of something else, you have your, your, your dialogue, you have your book. Is this going to be a continuing book? Now, is, this, is it going to be a continuing book? You just paid, you know, an outrageous amount of money to have your one book done. Do you have enough money to get a second book done? Better yet, how are you going to sell your book? So let's calculate first. Let's calculate what um, what we had. So let me just, all right, let's just use this piece of paper here. And we're going for the low end. So character design, $35. Yeah, that's $35. So penciler, let's just say you have 12 pages. So 12 times 25. Now that is 300. Uh, next up, you have your inker, 12 times 35. That is 420. Uh, your colorist, 35 again. That's another 420. Your letterer, 25 times 12. Another 300. $50 for your cover. And let's say 150, what did I say? 150 for your logo. So that rounds up to be All right, so you are looking at a total for, total for one book of $1,675. Now that's one book. Now, are you planning on doing multiple books? Can you justify spending $1,675 on a book that might not sell? So before you try to put this kind of money, and let me, let me just go back again. This is the very low ends. These are the ones, the penciler that's gonna charge you $25 per page, the inker is gonna charge you $35 per page, the color's gonna charge you $35, the letterer is going to charge you, what did I say, 25 the cover, 50 the logo design, 150 And these are the low ends. Now, if you could find somebody that's going to ink your book for $35 a page and do $25 a page, as I said, you're going to be lucky. So this is why a lot of people don't continue doing comics because it costs a lot of money. You can learn the skills. That's why I have this channel up to teach you how to do the skills. But if you're in a rush and you have to pay people, this is what you're kind of looking at and this is probably going to be per book so if you sell the book for three dollars then i'm not even going to try to do that kind of math how 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 many would you have to sell to make up your sixteen hundred seventy five dollar you know uh price tag that you spent somebody can comment and say how many books you'd have to sell to make three hundred oh sixteen seventy five and then I'll share that later with you guys. But yeah, you would have to be into the um, advertising part of this whole thing. 
that's messed up. Before you even decide this, you say, okay, I'm going to spend all this money. How am I going to make this money back from this book? If you have an incredible cover to start out with, then that's a good start. I'm, I'm telling you, it's a good start. Many of, of I don't want to say raggedy books or very poor, poorly done books had spent money on great cover artists to sell their books. And you said the UCK, Bill Platypus, man. So, yes, I know it was a lot of talking, but it was calculating. And this is some things that you guys really need to kind of think about before you do comic books. Now, I don't want to, I don't want to rain on anybody's parade, but I want you to know what you have to deal with because advertising, where, where are you going to advertise? Um, who are you going to print with? That's another thing. The printer gets, the printer gets a nice little chunk of your money if you print with them and they sell with them, which is probably be the best thing because unless you want to lick a bunch of stamps and mail stuff out every few days, it's best to, to, to do it that way. I, I'm, I'm doing some stuff myself, sending some stuff out or selling and sending stuff out myself. And it is a hassle. It is a hassle because something can go wrong and they can come back to you. Hey, where's my book? Or the book was tore up in the mail or whatever, whatever. So it's best to just do that for now. If you're small time, just to go with somebody to do most of the footwork, but it will cost you. And as I said, how many books are you going to do? Is this going to be a, a, a ongoing series? Do you just have like 10 uh, uh, stories that you, you need to do or five stories that you need to do? But I would say learn as much as you can, like doing the um, graphics or not the graphic, doing the, the lettering. Look on YouTube. There's a lot of things, a lot of uh, videos that show you how to do lettering. Um, find the best way to do your uh, own graphics, your own logo design. You use a ruler if you have to, or um, Photoshop. Now, like as I say, learn as much as you can to learn about doing as much as you can for your book to save you some of this money over and over and over again. This, this is why I have the channel. Keep Look at some of the videos. Go through the list. Look at the videos. See what I have. Now, I'll put more and more videos up on actually doing comics. I'll get deeper into it, but right now I'm doing pose positions to get you guys to know how to do your anatomy. I'll get more into um, uh, perspective, uh, light and shadow, the whole nine yards to get you guys to do it. But for the meantime, before you decide to put out a comic book, if you wake up and ready to go, you have to think about these prices, these prices. Now, I do have the numbers for certain people, I have for um, colorists, pencilers, um, somebody can do a logo design. Now, if you are ready to go ahead with your book, write me at my email address, which is right here, and I'll see if these guys can give you a good fair price, being this is your first time, so that they can get some work and they can get their name out there some more. Now, um, Inkers, I can find an inker. I really don't have an inker on, I don't want to say my payroll yet, but in my contact list, but I can find that. But if you're looking for stuff and you really want to do this and you do have a little bit of the cash that you want to spend, let me know. I'll help you out as best I can. And then we, you, we will go from there. You will go from there. If I had the time, I would do more people's uh, drawings for them. I might be able to do a cover or two, but that's... You know, that's I'm, I'm, I'm with the YouTube channel and me trying to get my three comic books out and uh, my drawing books and some other things. It's hard and a full time job. It's kind of hard to just help everybody because I'm putting my own stuff to, to the side to help other people out. But, you know, I'm willing to do that if I know you're serious. But if you're just going to try to kick a half a book out or one book and then give it up, then, you know, you have to find somebody else because I started that. I started helping everybody that I could and not one person that I helped put out a book, finish the book. So yeah, that kind of like stuck in my throat that, you know, but I did learn some things doing it. I learned a lot of things. I learned a lot of tricks and so forth and so on. And this is where I am today because of all the people that I helped and all the things that I've learned doing those books. So again, if you are ready to do that, if you're ready to put out some money, let me know. I'll contact some of these people and see if I can get you a great price to get your book started. So 
I think that I said everything that I wanted to say. Now, if you, and I think I might have said it, if you just have a basic story idea and a rough sketch and you give it to the artist, shall we say, then that artist is going to charge you more money. So the more stuff you put on an artist or inker or colorer, the more money they're going to charge you. So just have just have your A game when you come and you say, oh, I've got it all ready. Don't say, well, I don't know. I don't understand. I'll leave it up to you because a 12-page 12, uh, 12 book might turn into 14 pages. It might not be any way he can, he can compress that story without cutting something off, or it might just flow better with two or three extra pages. So, yeah, be ready. Do your homework, and... Um, yeah, good luck with it. So that's going to be it for this informational video. Go back to your drawing table, start drawing, get your ideas together, and then good luck to you. So I will see you guys in the next video. That's a peace symbol. See ya.